I'm Ryan Roots. I'm Ellie Roots. And, and together, together we, we are Rally, Rally Roots. Ryan and Allison Roots are professional resellers. Their full-time job is finding new and used items, marking them up, and selling them online for profit. They're also part of an active community of YouTubers who film and post their finds at yard sales and thrift stores. That is a Rally Roots bag full of stuff. They turned this combination of reselling and YouTubing, as well as other lines of business like mentoring and wholesaling, into an almost half a million dollar revenue stream last year. Can you look up uh, garage sales on the yard sale app? These people order? have a shopping problem because, <laughs> wait a second, look at that. There's stuff in the box still. Oh, Brand nice. new video games. That would be a good one to go to. Oh, it's start time, 7 a.m. Whoa, it's already 9, we gotta go. Ah. <laughs> Ryan and Allison have more than 96,000 followers on their YouTube channel that documents their process of finding items at yard sales and thrift stores. So when we first went out to go to garage sales, we took $200 with us, right? Yeah, about $200. One of the first things we bought was one of those like serious radios. I think we paid like $2 for it, sold it for like 60 bucks. That, that was, was a really good flip. Yeah. Electronics are the best. So we took $200 out, spent 100 bucks, and we turned that 100 into 300. So we had $400 from the initial 200 at the end of the day. It worked out pretty well. Yeah. So garage sales, we kind of, we mostly do for fun now. And we're kind of addicted to the treasure hunt. It's a modern day treasure hunt for adults. All right. Let's see what we got. Those are oh, nice yeah. Nikes. I, I have the shirt actually. How much are the shoes? Two. dollars? Okay, cool. Nike shoes are cool because you can um, easily look them up by the, the model, model number. number on the inside. So we've got one listed for 20 plus 10 shipping, so 30 bucks and sold. No solds. So no solds. we'll probably pass on those. Like a label maker. We're looking at the battery compartment to make sure it's not corroded because it has no value if it is corroded because yep. you can't use it. So that's probably like twenty, twenty dollars. So we will leave it. Sometimes people look at the the job that we have not really as like a a serious job because or a we're not or a career. It is. It's truly our career now. Yeah. Right. It's not like a typical nine to five. We don't have a schedule. We kind of make our own schedule, which is one of the reasons why we love doing it. Um, but most people, when they say, "Okay, you sell stuff on eBay," most people wouldn't really consider that a traditional job. <laughs> yeah. What's uh, the price? G3. How much are you asking for the Gators jacket? Uh, make me an offer. <laughs> Ten bucks. Uh, I can do $10 on that jacket for you. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So at that garage sale, we picked up, well, I guess three things because you bought something for yourself. Yeah? Yes. I picked up this jacket. It's a Florida Gators jacket. It's not a huge moneymaker. Probably, I would say, $30 to $40 on this jacket. I um, paid $10 for it, so not a terrible buy. And then we grabbed this Netgear wireless router. We paid $5 for it. $6. But stuff like this, bread and butter, meat and potatoes type items for us. So they sell $35, six bucks into 35. We'll take that. Milk and cookies. Sweet. Cool. The YouTube thing, a lot of people, a lot of resellers are putting out those motivational videos um, because they've been in that position before where they've become unmotivated and they know that people need that advice. Most of the people we're trying to help are not going to be turning this into a, a six figure business. Most of these people are just looking to make an extra 300 bucks a month to pay for their car payment or put $500 a month into savings so they can go on vacation. And those really genuinely are the people that we're trying to, to help get to that point. While reselling remains a core part of their business, the Roots are beginning to shift their emphasis to teaching and wholesale. They run online mentoring classes six times a year for aspiring resellers and started selling their students wholesale goods this year. So the most profitable part of our business was eBay and wholesale, and now it's transitioned more into mostly wholesale and also teaching. But eBay remains a core part of the Roots' reselling business, with their main account, the Hip Lion, bringing in nearly $140,000 in sales in the past 12 months. So because we sell a lot of clothing and shoes, that's what we specialize in, um, and in particular, we sell a lot of used clothing as well. So something like a vintage t-shirt would go really well on eBay, um, or really well on something, a place like Poshmark. There's so many different ways to sell. Crazy. Um, like we specialize in eBay, but there's so many avenues. I mean, eBay, Amazon, Poshmark, Macari, Depop, StockX. Etsy. I mean, 
You, there's even local places like Letgo, OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace. There's so many ways to so sell. So many ways to sell. The Roots' business has expanded so much that they had to move operations from their garage to a rented warehouse in Tampa last year. Ryan says this helped propel their reselling from a hobby to a business. The Roots work around four days a week from their warehouse in Tampa and have two employees who help photograph and ship thousands of items they have stored in the warehouse to eBay customers and fellow resellers. Ooh, that's heavy. We need to ship out 45 pairs of Toms to one of our students. So next would be the eBay section or the eBay inventory, right? Yeah. We know when an item sells on eBay, it's labeled with this number, so it's very easy for Callie to go, okay, item number 231 has sold. So one of my favorite items listed right now, which is a really good high value item, it's this awesome, awesome vintage Florida Miami University jacket. We would expect about $120 yeah, for, this for this jacket. I think that's about what it'll sell for. Um, and this is cool because we paid a dollar for it. That's crazy. Which is pretty sweet. I think the biggest misconceptions about resellers in general are like we're, we're flipping people's trash, picking through a bin and, and picking out a shirt and then, you know, not washing it and selling bed bugs to people. Oh, you're That's, selling old junk, I yeah, guess? Yeah, like you're, people don't think you can make an actual living doing what we do. But again, done right, you can absolutely do it and we're proof of that, you know? I mean, we've had comments on YouTube from people saying stupid millennials get a real job. And I'm like, well, look at my bank account. 